Hi, Matt Watson here from Carwam. So I'm sitting in a Porsche 911 992. It's the very entry level, basic Carrera. This one pretty much has no options on it either. Next to me is the 911 992 GT3. And we're gonna have a drag race, which may seem a bit odd, but really what I wanna do is show the performance difference between this entry level car and that top of the range car. Yeah, I know the turbo is actually more expensive, but really my opinion is if you're gonna buy a Porsche 911, you either go for this Carrera, the entry level model, don't put much on it, or you buy a GT3 if you can get a slot in the allocation, which might be a bit hard. But those are my two favorite 911s at either end of the range. Anyway, enough Porsche marketing nonsense. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. That way you'll be alerted whenever we upload a new video such as this. And there's more coming with the GT3, you'll like it. Also, if you're thinking about buying a new car or wanting to sell your current car, click on the pop out banner up there to go to car wow. We can make sure you're paying a fair price on the car you wanna buy and we can make sure you get a fair price for the car you're trying to sell. All you have to do is like upload details of the car and pictures of it and you'll get offers from dealers for what they'll give you for your car and then they'll come and take it away and give you the money if you decide to do that. It's completely free, you don't have to do it. Anyway, if you want to do it at a later date, you simply Google help me car wow, all right? Just that. It's enough waffling from me, shall we get on with this? Let's get on with this. Buying a new car? Then head to car wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car wow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Okay, Sam, as ever, let's have a sound check. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna see if the car will do the little trick where I put into drive, then pull up on both paddles and it should let me rev. It doesn't do it. So what I might have to do is just the old launch control trick instead. Uh -oh. Why well, have I got no launch control? That's that. Right. That's my revs. Doesn't do that. Doesn't seem to like do the launch control all that well. I'll tell you why. I haven't even given you the sets on this car. So this has a three litre flat six twin turbo, puts out 385 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. It costs 83,000 pounds basic. And this one's like 84 and a half or something. In terms of the drive, it's eight speed automatic dual clutch gearbox, driving the rear wheels only. As for the weight, it's 1500 kilos. Well, a bit more actually. The correct number will be on the screen. I can't quite remember it right now. I do remember the stats on the GT3 though, so obviously that's more expensive. It starts, uh, I've forgotten the stats on that as well. Ah, I remember. It starts from £123,000, so that one is quite a bit more because it's got loads of kit on it. The engine in that is a motorsport derived 4 litre, flat 6, naturally aspirated, puts out 510 horsepower and 470 newton meters of torque, though all that torque is right at the top end, and it's only 20 newton meters more than this has, which is much lower down in its rev range. Now this only revs to seven and a half, that revs to nine. I say only seven and a half, that's still quite high. Anyway, in terms of weight, that's lighter than this. Another weight of that, it's 1,435 kilos. So I get him to rev up his car. I've kind of done this a bit disjointed, haven't I? Can you rev up your car, Sam, please? Go on. Rev up your car, maybe? I've really cocked this up today, haven't I? I think his radio's not working. A few moments later. Sam? Can you rev up your car, please? Certainly. It's better. It still doesn't give you 9,000. It only gives you seven when you do that little trick with the paddles. At least you can do that little trick with the paddles. I can't do that. I've just got soft limiters or launchy bit. That's all I've got. Anyway, so we race, finally. I, I think I'm going to lose, but the question is by how much? And is the difference worth the extra cost of that? I think it is, but let's just do it anyway. I would so buy one of those if I could. I beat him off the line because he struggled with traction. And boy, is he going. He's going to say, I didn't like my launch, I want to do it again. That's what he's going to say. Is there something you want to say? A little bit of a tyre temp issue there, I think. And what does that mean? What are you, what are you saying? that there was no temperature in the tyres and I got lots of wheel spin and traction control and launch control and I still won. Is there anything you'd like to do? I go again. God, it was like blooming trying to get blood out of a stone, that was. Three, two, one. Oh, we 
we've got a better start there. I'll just watch this unfold from back here. Are you happy now? Yeah, that was better. There's a lot of wheel spin out of this after launch, though. Do you want another go? No, that was a decisive win. Okay, let's move on then. So then what exactly happened? Well, the GT3 won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.4 seconds, while the Carrera took 12.1 seconds. All right, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, cars in their comfiest, most relaxed setting. Although I bet it's not that relaxed in the GT3 because it never is. I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. That gearbox is quicker. There's no point. There is just no point. I can't believe that gearbox was quicker to kick down. Like this, thought about it, then went that. I know what it's like in that. It's just so good. So good. Oh, I love that car so much. I don't want it to go back. This car is so close to perfect. There's one thing I dislike about it, and it's the fact that you're sitting in it and not me. Okay, now we're going to a rolling race. Car's in sport mode, locked in third from 50. I'm hoping my turbo low down torque will help me out here and the fact that I've got eight gears rather than seven, so I might be having a slightly low gear in my third. Here we go, three, two, one, go. But he's got all the revs. <laughs> he's got all the revs. Oh, he can just hold on to his gears for longer, but it's not such a big difference this time, though he's gapping now. This brakes really well. Speaking of which, we'll do the next challenge, but first let's just, just catch up. So that wasn't such a massive difference on the initial pickup because of turbo charged torquing, I say. Yeah, I was just going to say that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Just shows how good the standard 911 is really, doesn't it? Yeah, and you know, for road use, like turbo power, like low down shove, it's really, really good. I think this car is brilliant, actually. Anyway, I need to stop just f***ing off over it because it's all going to get a bit jizzy in this car. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. I don't know if it's allowed. Anyway, let's do it. <laughs> Maybe someone will cut it out. Maybe they won't. I think it's one of our allowed words. But let's just let it go. Sorry, guys, if I offended you. Anyway, brake test now from 70. He's got carbon ceramics, like Pilot Sport Cup 2 tyres. I've just got Pirellis and normal steel brakes. But let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that. You know, GT car, entry level Carrera, amazing brakes. Yeah, and they're on steels, so that would have helped you a little bit there too. You're going to get all boring about how you have to warm up carbon ceramics. Yeah, just a little bit. But still, on the road, you're not warming your brakes up, are you? So if you're using it mainly as a road car, you're better on steels, really, aren't you? Absolutely right. Carbon brakes in the morning when they're cold are just, they're almost dangerous, I'd say. It is actually, for this plant, it actually had a lot of ABS under brakes as well, and I would, have, I would have thought that's to do with the, the temperature. So, there you go. Not that far off, is it? God, uh, well, that was boring of him, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, those brakes aren't dangerous, right? I've had them in the morning. The Porsche carbon ceramics aren't dangerous on the road, OK? Just a disclaimer. They're not. Wow, that was close in the brake test. Any of the challenges, not at all. Around the track, not at all. Though this on the road is brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. I love it. Now, if you want to check out lease deals on Porsches, three car one, click on the pop-out banner up there. In fact, I'm going to give you a link to my favourite non-GT car Porsche, which you can buy on a lease, buy, which you can lease through car work. Just follow that link, the link in the description below as well. Whew, well, that's that. Is the difference in performance between the entry level Carrera and that GT car worth the price differential? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. You can watch more videos by clicking there and see how these cars' times of the quarter mile compared to other cars we drag raced in the Carway Drag Race leaderboard by clicking there. See you next time.